Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And with that little bit of an intro, you know where I'm headed here. It is Dominator Asp time. Asp? Asp. The ASP, I guess you'd want to call it. So we're going to have to, you know, temporarily, you know, send this home. So we need to pull in another car. Vehicles. Actually, we need to bring another car into existence. So let us consider the Vapid Dominator ASP. Change it in, in an orange. I'm going to do this one a little bit wilder. Maybe we will go green. Could depend on, on what liveries are available. Let's read. Let's read this. First of all, we did get this around level 50. I'm at about level 55 now. It's about midnight. I've been idling this all day long. And I think if I, if I let it lie, idle overnight, which is roughly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretty much stay in here. Yeah, I'm not idling. As long as you're in the darn area, you're getting points. Um, I think I can get to 60 by morning. Maybe match... My other character up in this, like almost it's up to 70 by the afternoon. I'm gonna try and idle them both to 85, I think, just to get all the car prices. We got this one, so now we can move forward. From the all American line of Dominators comes the middle generation ASP. Too contemporary to be a classic, too old school to be cutting edge. This is the kind of car you forget about until it punches you square in the junk. Now, Pony Up. I like these cars in real life, by the way. And I do think they've been kind of overshadowed by the the new retro kind of styles that came out later, but I think I think it's just a really nice car. And we're going to put this in the um, the auto shop storage. And now we're going to do the time warp again. Okay, while I was waiting for that to, uh, to come in, I, I changed crews here. I went over to the Scumbags crew, which has put me in a public session. You can change crews, apparently it, it makes you go you know, back to the character select screen. I don't know why. But here is the first look. My first look. Oh yeah, English Dave is going to be freaking out. Oh, check out the stock spoiler on that. That's aggressive. Now, I didn't do that because I'm planning on trying to jump into one of Bruffy's sessions tomorrow. I know I'm not going to have the time. But, that gives me some crew color options in case I want to go that way. And I want to do something very specific with a different car. I think that might be some good content. That's a test trap. No. Um, what I hit? Mod vehicle. G. That's what we want. I figure rather than go for the discounts, go for some fancier paint schemes here and get some more uh, more rep. Okay, we need the armor. Oh, there's this. Brakes. Escape is back. I mean, there's no other way of doing it. Now, bumpers. Front bumpers. I'm willing to kind of go wild on this. On this one. Secondary street bumper. Okay. Primary bolt on. Aggressor. Aggressor's kind of it's not that much lower than the stock. Primary twin wedges. Kind of looks like they're trying to go for a, a predator look on that. That's secondary twin wedges. Well, if we make it secondary, we can play with it a lot. Then you got the bolt-on GT. That's the weirdest one. That's that's a you know very out there. Looks like it's gonna hang up on stuff. This uh, 
think we're, I think we're going to go sec. Well, I don't know, we're going to go primary, secondary, doesn't even matter. We're going to go with that. Rear bumpers. The arrow bumper. I mean, obviously, you have to sit the, you know, sit, set the, the secondary a little bit different at some point. That looks good. So there's your bumper setup. Different build than I normally would. Don't worry, I'm going to do primary V8 engines, primary ridge V8, secondary. I mean, I could change a lot of this stuff up. I'm not worried about spending money on that rail covers. Rail. I'm not miss the point of having the valve covers fittings, vertical ram pipes. This needs a modern plastic. I tell you what, now. This kind of triggers me because I've had some very bad experiences with Ford plastic intake manifolds. Okay, I end up leaving a van. You've heard the, the, the story of the circle of the vans, the circle of the wind stars. Um, drove, I drove a van to Florida. The intake manifold, it was a 96, had the plastic intake manifold. That cracked while the car was sitting there. The coolant flooded the cylinders. I went to go home. The engine was hydro-locked bent all the push rods, ended up junking the van in Florida and renting a car to come home. But, ten years later, uh, I was in need of a car. My in-laws said, hey, we've had this 2001 Windstar for, since you guys were last down here. We never really used it all that much. It's got like 80,000 miles. Why don't you take it? They gave us the car. I flew down. Dro so I drove a Windstar down. I drove a Windstar back with ten years in between them. A plastic intake. And on my Thunderbird, uh, my 96 Thunderbird, same year, plastic intake manifold. So that cracks in a different place so it doesn't kill the engine. It just starts venting stuff. It's where the uh, it's where the alternator bolts to the intake manifold, which why would you bolt something to the intake? But anyway, so I've got a, now I've got a dormant intake on that that took care of the problem. So we definitely go with the primary 450 cubic inch. Or should we go secondary? Do we primaries? All right. Brushed V8 four cam manifold. Ooh, four cam. Probably V8 air intake system. Okay, so you can get the. I think that going with the brushed fork that 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 looks like it works for me. Strut brace. Wide titanium. God, how could you not go with titanium? That, that works. Engine tunes. There we go. We need that. Intercoolers. Intercooler twin fans. You can't really see them. But a water sprayer. You can't see them behind that grill. You should go with the twin fans over the, the, the water sprayer. You know, the water sprayer is probably better if you know what's going on. You can run out of water. And let's just gonna go with that. And that's our motor done. Exhaust. Stock duels. That's an interesting challenge. Small, but I'm not there. I'm not. Between round exhausts. Dual box exhaust. Double side exits. I can't see them. Twin side. Like, that's a little bit weak, guys. I mean, how come I can't move the camera to see unless I pay for them? Alright, this is just going to cost us money. So that now we can 
Where are the exhausts? Okay, so that's a double. That's your double. Du it's on one side. So now, let's see, twelve thousand dollars. You see that you got an exhaust there, an exhaust there. I'm an into them, but they're not. You know, I'm not really sure that works for me because you lose a lot of clearance. For as much as I'm trying to go radical here, I think that clean round box. Twin chrome by oh, let's go twin chrome. I like chrome. It's an old school thing. Fenders. Secondary stock fenders. Okay, that just gives us stock front fenders, stock fenders. Primary, so there's different primary wheel arches. There's a couple different ways you can do this. So you can go with second, you can change the color and then you can change the style. Alright. That's different. That's very efficient. Primary wheel arches, secondary carbon wheel arches. Primary bolt ons. So you can have just the secondary wheel arches, or you can go with primary wheel arches, and then secondary fender. Oh, that's kind of neat. Now we still don't know what color we're doing yet. Good. Good catches. Chrome, angled, blue, and gold. That should fit, go with anything, right? Gold, gold goes. Stock hood, secondary stock hood. Carbon, sticker bomb, primary GT hood. That is an ugly hood scoop. I, I gotta say. That, that's more proper. Primary vented hood. That looks good too. Primary race hood. A lot of hood options, but you know, the one that really kind of catches my eye is that one. Oh, that's a scoop hood, I believe. Not that one. This one. Primary scoop hood. Horn. That's not what that. Interior. You know, we really have to get to the color. Let's see. Neon kits. Neon layout. Let's give it the performance here, just in case something comes up. I'm racing this thing. I'll have it. So that's a performance enhancing thing. Livery. Now this is what's kind of, kind of determine where I go with this. Okay, not tonight, Pizza Boy. I don't think we're gonna do the not tonight, Pizza Boy one. Blue flame livery. Ooh. There's a lot of ooh there. Did you see the ooh? Purple flame livery. Ooh, there's a lot of ooh there. So I could see you in this, and then doing a dark green for the rest of it. Look, I had that one car. That worked really well. They have a hustler that's been done on like that. But that's nice as well. And if we did that one, we could go with an orange kind of setup. Simple bracelet. Hey, these are all least unlocked. That's good. So I have the full selection. Let's 
go blue flame for right now. Let's see, louvers, primary louvers, secondary louvers. That's part of the. It's uh, a weird part of the delivery, isn't it? Ooh, that check out what that does with the um, the tail lights. That's nice. Let's do a primer with that for now. Oh, so I wouldn't end up making it all one color. Mirrors. Stocking. That's just a color selection. So we have to we have to get mud guards. Do I want mud flaps on this? I don't think so. I mean, I guess that would. I think kind of blows the look, doesn't it? For what I'm going for here. Play on re -spread. Primary color. See, I can go crew now. And that's a bro that's Bruffy's crew color. And there's something to be said for that. Just to have a car in Bruffy crew. Just because it does look good. Now we don't have to go with that. Well, if I ever ever am in a. Uh, in some kind of stream there. No, that's a thing. But if we're gonna grow, we're gonna grow. If we're gonna go orange, we could just go. Well, first of all, let's look at some of these things we might catch us. Yeah, I don't know about the fenders. I'm gonna end up making it all the same color. That's kind of neat. Iron or blue? Harbor blue. Ooh, that you know, shaft are purple with it too. A lot of nice, nice contrasts here. Lime green still alive. We could do, you know, sunrise over orange over sunset red, which I believe is the actual breathy color. But eh, you know, it's, 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 this, this isn't the reason I pulled the, the, the crew out here. I mean, I always go like an orange and browns for Rusty Jack because he's what? Rusty Jack. That's a, a whole rust thing. Hmm. Where are the greens? Dark green, racing green. I realize that's kind of a basic sort of thing here, but. Racing green, and then you do a pearlescent over it in the blues. What about ultra blue? Do an ultra blue pearlescent. That's not shabby. Pulls right off of that. Well, front end. Is there any other blue that matches it better? See, light blue is not as intense. But it might. Surf blue is a little bit subtle. Or there is there a hot green. 
like lime green there kind of works, but kind of, kind of muddies up the, the look there a little bit. Fluorescent, bright green, gasoline green. I mean, if, we, if we just do a gray, uh, just keep it that way, that keeps it kind of crisp. Sometimes a pearlescent isn't the answer to everything. And a secondary color. Yeah, there's really... Unless we do something in the blues that really matched that, that front end. And nothing really does. We're gonna end up making it all all uh, racing green. I know that's a little bit conservative, but it really does seem to work. If you trim color. This is the kind of thing where you could go a little bit wild, making an ultra blue kind of thing to pick up from the front, but it's not quite the right match, so. You too can do a lime green from there. Accent color. Yeah, with the ice white game. Oh, it just doesn't quite match. It's a little bit not minty enough. <coughs> Is there a mint green? No. No, let's just do a racing green. Might be a little bit... You know what, though? Let me do this. Let me do it, get it like in an ice white. Uh, that's accent color. That's uh, trim color. What if we did ice white on the uh, interior? That's not bad. You need some of the pops, and you know, nothing's really gonna. You can't get any of these accent colors. Because, again, if I could pull off like a mint green. But do yellow. Mountain Dew seeds. How 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 heinous would that be? Pretty heinous. green matches. Lime green does not quite. The 
needs to run. It's been a purple. There we go. Hang on, the ice white. Works well enough. Close enough to jazz. So then you get mirrors. Primary, oh, look at that. You get, that's it's part of the, uh, whatchamacallit, let's go with the cheaper one. I do like that. Let's get the movers. Oof. Yeah, I didn't do anything with that. Skirts. Ridge side ridges, that's interesting. I think we're gonna go to GT skirts. Spoiler, now this is a big primary ducktail. For the handling of the car, you're better off with like a smaller spoiler. It makes it a little less tail happy, but I mean, you know, we can. There are a lot of smaller spit, like the drag spoiler here might be a good plan. I'm sure there's some ridiculous ones. We have to get out down and at least see how it's not really. It doesn't seem what's I think you know what? That looks almost a little too stock for me. It's not, but I mean, it, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, primary drag spoiler. Yeah, let's do that. Sunstrips, I've been burned by sunstrips. Where you get locked in first person, then you can't see. Suspension, you have to slam these, I think, to get the most. Uh, <coughs> Not the Rona. Race transmission. Trunk. What the heck? That's uh, just too weird for me. We're going to leave it alone. Turbo, obviously. Wheels. Wheel type. I mean, I know tires can clip, I don't think, probably works on any of these. I'm going Chrome. Classic fives, probably. That's what I came here looking for. Put the Dukes on it. Muscle Freak, Rebecca. It doesn't work. Muscles work with this look of the car. What about the track one? There's a couple different things here. You got your streets. Yeah, none of those work for me. Not even a little bit. And your, your tracks are your street ones. Aerostar, Hyper Fives, and maybe tuners. No slicers. I have those on. On what do call it? My neon, and I do like those. Might be a little bit under aggressive for where it is, but. What flows with the car? I mean, the stop rails kind of look good, but it's this. Where are those slicers? Don't. Uh, 
We want to really go old school on this. Like, am I just so programmed? Why does that look so perfect? To me. Like, am I just so programmed from the old days when you needed off-road tires to go fast? But now that's what my brain accepts. I mean, how beefy does that look? Or is it just because I live in Pennsylvania and you feel like it needs you need grippy tires? And we can always get, get silly. That kind of works. Where's the dollars? Classic rods. Uh, classic rods kind of go. The dollars. Anytime you're just looking for a bizarre. Get dukes and white walls. This car does not need white walls. Go five. The gooch. That kind of fits somehow. I don't know why. Fills out the stuff rather nicely, but... Again, I just feel like it's going to take bounces bad, even though that's probably not true. And it's just, just in case they ever fix that. I want to at least go with muscles. It is a muscle car. That kind of has that sort of flame look to it. Revolvers look good. El Jefe. Mercenaries. You know, is there any car that the mercenaries don't look good on? We're going with the, the General Lee wheels. That just looks good. Mercenary. And it's, it's kind of fitting for the way that I play the game. You don't have to worry about painting them because they're chrome. Tires, tire design. You don't put the drag radials on, yeah. Tire enhancements, make them bulletproof. I'm not going sliding with this puppy. Tire smoke, we'll leave that white. I don't really have. We could put green smoke on it, but. I guess the green smoke wouldn't work. Out. At least they'd fix that. Windows, light smoke, obviously. Let's go back to lights. Neon kits, neon color, mint green, that works. You can see how that works. I wish we had that on the interior. Um, let's back out of this. Headlights. I think we can get, yeah, we can get like. mint green lights on this. They still you still get to have to pay fifty thousand dollars for mint green lights. 
I'll do it. Minty green lights. And by the way, just, just so you know, that's how it would have looked with the purple. And that does, that might, you can argue that's better. I do have a car like that. But we've built it around this look. I kind of like that better for right now. That's how I envision the car. May not say that way. Maybe someday I'll just have a, you know, just have a moment. The plate. Okay. 07. <laughs> we have to leave that. That's <laughs> Exit. Now, before we swap over characters, actually, let's do this. We'll pull it outside. See how this looks and handles here. I like it. Now my next car, the one for the one for the the former CEO in pajamas, that's gonna be a little bit more mundane. That's gonna be like one like I'd probably actually buy if I could. Good type of weapons, I have no interest right now. We are going to go vehicles. Return it to storage. And now you're going to see why I changed crews. Because I do have an F620. Some I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll Where hook you up. Is... Okay, I got oh, stuff to do. Oh, Come on, call him back. I didn't want to back out that far. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I have no idea where this is. There it is. Now, it's I have this F620 done exactly like my one on my other account. And that's the, what's the point of that? I thought, you know, this would be a perfect thing to build in case I ever do want to show up at a, a Ruffy 13 22 car meet. And just have them put a rocket straight into it. Now his, the one he has kind of set up on Project Homecoming, because he doesn't have, he does have one, but he's, he's hidden it, so you can never see it again. His, uh, he does have one on Project Homecoming that matches the one that was lovingly made and sent to him. I forget who. That's a great video. But I, I want to try, I want to do the Chrome Crew Blue. Good time, I thought it's trying to close at 1 o'clock in the morning. I gotta go to bed, but break. See, this is all fully set up. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna tweak this puppy out. What we're gonna do is gonna go to respray. Primary color. Chrome. 25,000. That looks great. Crew. Crew color. So now we've got chrome crew glitched. That looks better than I thought it would. And there's there's no secondaries on this, to, but you know that's that's just it. Come on, get us out. I could put the crew emblem on it if I really want to, but eh, you know, there's there's simping and then there's simping. Let's just uh, back out. Wheels. You have to go because it's a meme. I think we want to go, let's go stock rims, the dollars, I don't know, see, if, we, if we, let's back out and see what the color does to it, I 
You might be changing these, mind you. Can I do crew? Can I do crew wheels? If you can't do crew, you'll type lowrider chromes. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of ones that will look good on here. I mean, let's be honest. Chrome dollars. Do we white wallet, though? Tires, tire design. That's the meme. By the way, tick the plate. Hateful. That would be the full meme. But um, you know, we're trying to create something new here. You know, I'm not sure I want to do that. I don't know if I want to go with the dollars on this. For the full meme effect. Real type. High end. Chromatic Z. So right now we're going with Chromatic Z, but... Carbon Inferno. Doesn't that look right? Let's forget the whole meme thing, and we'll leave it as the hateful machine, but that, there's something kind of cool about all that. Chrome on chrome here. I mean, I went to make a joke here, but I, I, I do like it. Make sure the bulletproofs, tire smoke. Let's leave it. Let's, I think that's it. Leave it classy. Chromey yet classy. Let me out. Let me out. Fix this. I'm trapped. Exit the mod shop. That is a thing. Take a selfie with it. Let's take this outside. You know what? While I have this set up, I wonder if I should make my uh, my limo the same color. You can always change it. All it has to be is white. Let's go on. Um, <laughs> the orange in the door is 11. By the way, he'll almost still certainly if I if I bring this into a, a thing, he'll probably still put a missile on it. But but it's, it, but it's not a true meme car. It's it's an F six twenty that's done up in Chrome with the crew with the crew effect. And it just changes color depending on how you want to look at it far more readily than any of the pearlescents. There's a way of stacking pearlescents on top of them too. I think. Vehicles, 
return vehicle to storage. Regular human, hey. How you doing? Let's um call up the mechanique. I don't remember which nightclub garage it's in, but it's in one of the nightclubs. You need something, huh? When he rides? Let me know. Let's type B3. Patriots scratch. Guess down the first It's on the way. Because I've been looking at this and thinking, I need to trick it out a little bit. I think the original plan for this was, I left it looking like it was a stock limo that you would use with an eight club support sort of thing. But it would be faster than that, so it would still kind of, you know... Kind of a fake out, you know, but we're going to, uh, we can always get back to it. Okay, it's all done up otherwise. Okay, let's just go to, okay, lights, neon kits. We do need that. I don't know why it doesn't have a neon kit. You know, color, crew. But that will perfectly match the paint job it's going to get. Oh, I should put crew lights on the other one, don't you think? Yeah, we have to do that too. Alright, well, good, good thinking. I'll have to pull it back in. Uh, let's see, headlights. Ooh, headlights is there. We could do the whole... Give it one of these lights for a ridiculous amount of money. And go to the respray. Primary color chrome. And then crew. That's starting to look like my you know my original Patriot, actually. It's not chromed out like this, but it had a similar hue to it. Yeah, that's, that's neat. Now, the one thing we can do here, now that we've got a funky color. If you really, a trim color, let's see, what do we want to do with the trim? Ooh, look at that. The orange trim to the to boot. Oh, you could go with it with you know something contrasting like the purple. Which would make a true bruffy kind of thing, but yeah, purple's not no, it's not working for me. But I think we could use something like a nice white. just to set it off. I'm not getting the crew emblem. This man likes I'm going classic fogs. I like that. Suspension. We got the stock ride height on this. I'm gonna leave it there just for just for the you know the turbo is there. Wheels are keeping as is. Just want to make sure. Tires. Tire smoke. Give it the orange tire smoke for the whole orange thing. Yes, they're bulletproof. Okay. You can need that. What's left? Windows. It's a limo. He's got to have window smoke. You know, I always go light smoke, but. It's a limo. You gotta have limo. <laughs> I'll leave it tricked out the right way it was. I think we're done here. What do you think we're done here?
Let's bring that F620 back. I am annoyed that the fog lamps don't work. So orange. All right, step out. Vehicles, return that to storage. Let me make sure I put the, the right lights on the other car. I guess I'm ever in a limited coupe. I'm on the clock. What you want? Here. Some wheels? That was what? You need to pop one, right? I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay, we get in. We go for more. I don't know. I think I might have maxed out the rep I'm pulling up from doing this stuff here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Dang it. So we get in. Lincoln. TV. They're close to each other. Lights. Headlights. Do we want to um do we want to orange out the headlights? No, I think we'll leave the light stock. We'll give them white lights. We'll go with the white lights. Because again, I'm trying to keep this one a little classy. The other one's supposed to be wild. But we are going to give it a neon kit because you need that. Do I want to leave that white to go kind of highlight the chrome? Or do we want to go crew? I just want to the, the, the crew that does set it off kind of nicely, I guess. See, if we don't go crew, if we don't go orange lights, then it's a completely different orange from the crew, even though it's based on crew. You only notice it's crew when you open the door. That looks better, if it does. And it matches the front lights. But it's not what uh, what wow, it looks like it's, the whole car has just been completely desaturated. Look at that. It looks like a black and white car. Okay, let me the vehicles return to storage. Uh, am I gonna get killed here by the regular human? You uh, need me to bring you a ride? Give me that back to Patriot Stretch because this is what I'm going to keep in here. Oh, and there was one thing. I wanted to look at liveries on the Patriot Stretch. Oh, I can tell it's late. I'm just not thinking. Because that's nice, but we've now... Let's say we, we picked a livery for it. For this orange crush monster here. My 
vehicle. Never know what looks. All right, so you have kind of a. I'm sure we could do like a tiger stripe kind of thing on this, and it would. 90 sandbox is what I was thinking. That has good look. Modern five color. Winter camo. Now winter camo. Well, that's a creamsicle, isn't it? Winter camo might be the current. Oh, nature reserve. Look at this. I'm not sure I want to do nature reserve because now it looks like I'm a Bengals fan. Like, is that too obvious? The Bengal mobile. I can't necessarily do that. Naval battle. And don't give me the, the nature reserve looks good. Goes really well with the color. No. But you know, the creamsicle almost is 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 almost too tempting. And with the creamsicle, you don't get the uh, the feeling that you're a Bengals fan. I mean, I've had the last few years where I've not been as engaged with the NFL. But man, can't, I don't even want to even make anyone think that I might be a Bengal fan. That looked too, that looked too Bengali. Do we want the winter? Do we want to go creamsicle? Chrome creamsicle. Or do we want to leave it a solid color? You can always strip it off. Let's go winter camo. By the way, for all of you out there who are Bengals fans, you should know that uh, I'm not. That is funky. Okay, let's see. I'm going to switch, switch out to back to base here, which will put all of me to select my other character. This is going to what I'm going to leave here in the thing. I'm eventually going to come back to this and we're going to be spinning tires in this rest of the night. But, okay, we're back. You can see from the way the phone is, we're back on base. We're going here. We're buying another one. Give it to me in white or black. Not going to matter. It's not staying there. We'll go black. Auto shop storage. We're below 50 million, but that that will change. We'll, we'll get back up there at some point. I'm not overly concerned. And I guess now we'll just do the time warp again. Do you know, I have never noticed, that the car that is on the Southern San Andreas Superautos.com main page is the F620. That's hilarious. To me. Okay, it's been confirmed. Yeah, I think you probably know where this is going. Hey, cool, amazing. You calling for some wheels? I'm not gonna be my uh, much Johnny longer. On the spot. I'll hook you up. I'll bring it to you. This is my last little bit of this video. I'm going to be tweaking this puppy up. Now, I thought about doing this in pewter. 
because there is one actually up the street for me that looks really good with that. But I'm going to stick with the tradition on this one. We're going gold. Well, I'll tell you what, those reds are nice. But... Do we want to go with a red? That, that, that's, you know... It's not quite the same year as my, my Thunderbird, so, yeah. I just hit G. Well, go there. No, you have to hit. And then G. Okay, armor it up. Breaks, of course. Back it out. Bumpers. We're leaving the bumpers, I think, essentially stock. Engine. Rail covers, we decided not to do that because you can't see the thing. Oh, you can actually put a supercharger on it. I didn't go down that far. It could be turbo supercharged. Primary supercharger, chrome supercharger. Let's go chrome supercharger. Why not? On this one. I might put the supercharger on the other one, by the way. That, that probably won't make a video, but. Intercooler with twin fans. This would be, be turbo. Turbo supercharged. That simply puts a 450 in it. Mm. You know, considering... All things considered, because it's supposed to be a turbo and not a supercharger. Because we're, we're doing turbo stuff. It's going to have the turbo sounds to it. Let's go with that. My overthinking stuff, yes. Home that. Fenders we leave alone. Hood we leave. Well, hood we're going to go with. Um, we're going to go with the gold hood, hood glass pins again. The hood itself. We'll go with that Mach 1 kind of style hood and take interior. I didn't do the interior on the other one. Seats. I think I'm too tired to think about it. There's too many options. We'll do that. That might be a separate thing at some point. Lights needs a neon kit. Whether it wants one or not. Yeah, here, guys. Delivery. Okay. Black thick stripe. There's a specific one I'm looking for. I can't really see what I'm doing here. Let's do the. That's the one. That is going to be the the classic uh, sports stripe, and that will make 
much a better sense when we get to I do black louvers on this one too. Respray primary color. Oh, there's your brush steel. See now that's pure gold, brush gold. Or do I want to go just with a painted gold? Go look at metallic gold. Even that looks good. This all looks good. Now that's a little too bright for me, believe it or not. Doesn't look bad though. But we're going to definitely go into the metals. Brush gold. I said I'd, I'd, pay, I'd get one like this. I'd probably get one that's more of a, a more sedate gold. Whatever gold is an actual painted gold. I'm not going to actually have a gold color. But let's, let's do that because it matches my other ones. Or less it now. You can't have that. Secondary metals, brush gold, just to be on the safe side. It's consistent. Trim color, definitely white. Ice white. Accent color we leave alone. Roof we leave alone. Skirts we're gonna we're gonna leave the body pretty much alone. We're gonna if, if we're gonna do anything here, we're gonna make it look more stock. And I think, much as I like the ducktails, that looks proper. That's like how those cars should would you, well you'd expect. A 2000 one, so look, a primary arrow wing. I'm just looking for a, like an actual Mustang. I don't know if they came with ducks. We go with duck tails. Suspension, slam it. Transmission, race. How about we leave the wheels? I mean, I really. Trunk, turbo, yes. Wheels, tires, tire enhancements, bulletproof them. I mean, I may change the tires at some point, but I do like those. In the current configuration, windows, like smoke. That might be good enough for now. Let's take this out. There you go. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the muscle car of choice, folks. It does feel good. I don't know if it has the, the full grip of the what's the, the GTX. It's got better top speed. It's got enough grip for certain. Compared to other muscle cars, this is good. It looks good. It sounds good. I don't know if those are chrome or if they're just alloy. I might have to change them out just for to get full chromes up. Okay, I just had a thought. Should we truly, truly, truly go, um, 
go matching all the other ones and put spooners on it. Why not? I say, I say, why not? Type muscles, chromes, spooners, chrome spooners. Let me back out. Now we can put drag radial on them. And the last thing, I think I think I haven't done this in a while. I think it's time to go to plate. That's kind of like the old Pennsylvania plates used to be. That color. Let's make it the Black Knight. We hit this and pulls us out. Yes. This is the car I want it to be. Oh, you know what the one thing we could do? Yeah, we'll get it later. Let's make the, make the, white, the lights white. Do you do, should we do that now? So it matches the... Uh, so it matches the... The running boards. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I gotta go to bed soon, anyway. So you go in, you back in, and then you hit that button, and this button, and that button, and then you... Lights, headlights, the white lights. Now we're done. I'm not really planning on doing anything too weird with the interior on this. Maybe the other one. Probably put a cage in it. But maybe not. Now we can just leave. I don't know why you can you don't have to hit the Let's control on that. And looking at it, I'm happy with it. But we're going to teleport it back. Turn personal vehicle to storage. Call up the vehicle I would keep in here. What you need, Bob, Again, some wheels? I'm trying to think I of bring using around. this vehicle as a spawn point. And then this one. A minivan, a minivan, custom. The Moonbeam Tusk. I'll get back to it then. Which, I mean, the Moonbeam Custom really doesn't have like a truly custom interior. It's got like a bunch of buckets in it. You could, I guess, lay those back if you really needed to, if you were sleeping in it. It does have the curtains, you know? You fold everything down into beds. There's not a ton of room in it, really. Because of the, um, 
I kind of know if you can lay that, lay that, you know, you can lay that seat down. You can role play it all kinds of different ways. Oh, sorry. I'm tired. Is he running towards me or running away? Um, he seemed annoyed. No beefs. And that note, ladies and gentlemen, all I'm going to do now is switch characters, blow it up, and let it idle overnight. Keep getting those sweet, sweet trade prizes that helped us out so much here. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. If the van is a rockin', don't bother knocking. If the van is a rockin', why are you taking pictures? Oh, my heavens to Murgatroyd. Give them some privacy. So much orange. It's the chrome sickle. <laughs>